Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are probably going through our worst patch of form since we've been at Taunton. No longer in those playoff positions. In fact, we now find ourselves all the way down in 11th. When I said in yesterday's episode, we could find ourselves slipping down that table. That is exactly what has happened. If we have a look at the schedule, we have played through quite a few more games since that game against Chippenham. And we looked like we were going to go straight back into good form, winning 4-0 against Dartford and 2-1 against St. Albans. But then three losses on the trot to start off February and then a further two draws against Oxford City and Dover means that we find ourselves a long way from where we were originally. I mean, there's a, quite a lot of things contributing to that. I think one of them is the amount of transfers that are happening. Um, we can see here, Will Tunnicliffe has left the club. We, he was out on loan, so he's never actually played for us. Uh, Jake Wanell has gone as well. Um, he's gone over to Hereford in the National League North. Um, and then on the inside, I think we saw all of these in the last episode, as far as I can remember. Uh, the Callum Mendes Jones, Callum Kennedy, none of which are fantastic. So I would say our team is probably quite weakened. It does mean we're getting lovely messages like this now from the board and the supporters just going, we're really expecting you to lose. Again, tempering those expectations, we are expected to finish 23rd this season. So I feel like we are doing all right. I'd like to do a lot better. We're going to be facing Tombridge in our first match of today's episode. Our lineup for that one is Rodgerson in goal, McLennan, Folston, Purcell and Powell as our back four. Ashcroft, Lucas, James and Zach Smith in midfield. Asante and Jaden Smith, the guys starting up front for today's match. And we're just really hoping for something a little bit better than what we've had. Because right now, we really aren't doing that good. As we've seen, I mean, if we have a look at Tombridge's form, they did lose the last match. We look at ours, loss, 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 draw, draw. Two points from the last possible 15 is not exactly playoff winning form. It's not exactly, it's definitely, definitely not league winning form. But as I've said a few times, I don't expect us to be winning the league this season. I think getting to where we are is already a very, very good achievement. Of course, if you do enjoy today's episode, please do drop a like down below the video. I'm sure you guys are fed up of hearing that from all of us, but it does really, really help out with the video. It'll be really very much appreciated. It might make me feel a little bit better when we inevitably... Um, Slide even further down the leagues. Well, I mean, we're based that on today's match. We kind of see where we are at the end of this one. But um, again, we just don't seem to be able to get control of matches. Uh, the strikers have stopped scoring, which isn't very helpful. The defence is very, very leaky. Asante here. Threading that one through to Jaden Smith, though. Oh, and uh, we are getting unlucky with stuff like that. If it's going to hit the post at the moment... It just seems like it would hit the post or the goal will be disallowed or anything of that manner. I think we just need a little bit of good luck in one of these games and that probably helps us turn around the season. But for now, Tombridge here heading forward into our box. It's an interesting shot for them. Let's be honest here. Um, it's not exactly very good. We'll live with it. Tombridge here playing a 4-2-3-1, which you don't see a huge amount of in non-league to be honest so that's quite interesting i did have a little bit of mess around as well when we were looking particularly bad in a couple of second halves in matches at playing some sort of diamond we kind of have the players to play it um, and it does solve a couple of issues especially if we get a team utterly dominating us but it's still not great so i don't think for this season we really have the players to do it Jaden smith through on goal here Jaden smith has put it in the back of the net and could that be the goal that helps us change around this bad run of form it may well be 14 goals now for Jaden smith at this season i'll give it that the best part of this team is definitely those three strikers of asante Jaden smith and martel taylor crossdell our club captain that those three will be here next season. We've already tied them down to long-term contracts, and I think they'll be very, very important. The rest of the team is moderately more in question. But we'll have a quick look at that in between these matches, if I remember. I'll kind of show you what's going on 
with those contracts who's likely to be staying who's likely to be leaving now we head towards the business end of this season james here with a corner into falston who does get ahead to it but unfortunately does not get that one on target jay falston is one of those who will be here next season uh, his contract would have been ending in the summer but he did have a one year uh, extension clause in his contract so i've triggered that one very happy to keep him around um, I noticed he scored this week in real life at the weekend as well against, was it Dulwich Hamlet that Tottenham were playing in the cup? I believe it was uh, Jay Folston, I believe, scoring either the first or the winning goal and then a 2-1 win. Uh, and he he's a good player. He has been very, very, I, I say he's been solid. He's been as solid as anyone else in this team this season. Ashcroft now getting this one into the box. Just... Taking way too long on the ball. He has managed to regain possession and cross that one into Asante for him to get his head on to. Um, that is something I am noticing about Ashcroft at the moment. Is he spends a lot of time just holding on to the ball rather than making a decision and tends to get tackled as a result. Asante there is just calm as you like. Run up on the goalkeeper. Waited for the goalkeeper to commit himself and then just chipped it into the back of the goal. This looks like the turnaround we needed, ladies and gentlemen. This is lovely stuff. Jaden Smith there threading it through. Nice through ball to Asante. As I mentioned, just waited for the keeper to commit himself one way or the other. And then chipped him and put that one in the back of the net for us. That is great. It pulls us all the way back into ninth place. And you'd think if we can do this against a team that is up in... I think they're up in fourth at the start of this. Then it makes it seem a bit more likely that we can do it against the other teams the rest of this season we have got a second one in this episode i believe it's against hamill Hempstead. i set all this up last night and then i went to bed and i've come back to record this morning and i can't actually remember who we're playing against in the second match also at the point i planned what matches we were doing um i think hamill Hempstead, who we want to play against were maybe third or fourth in the league and when I checked at the end of this, they're sort of ninth. I mean, I mean they've just changed then. Fifth, sixth. They're above us either way. So it is a match definitely worth playing and will test us a little bit. And if we can take points off of the teams above us, then it becomes a lot more likely that we can get back into those playoff positions. Taking points above the teams above us is kind of the issue here, though. Kennedy's going to come on for Purcell there. Uh, Jay Folston's also looking tired, but I don't want to change both our centre-backs at the same time because I think that is utter madness. Uh, Gareth Lewis can come on for Ashcroft as well. Ashcroft isn't inherently doing anything wrong, but not inherently doing anything right either. And I think the top front two can probably stay on, so Joe Budd going to come on for Lucas instead. And that's all three of our substitutions made. We don't have a lot of time left in this match, though. So that, I would say, is probably all right. Tom Bridge Angels here. With a free kick into the area. It has been headed away. And Zach Smith now trying to put us on the counter. Threads that one to Jaden Smith. Back to Zach Smith. We've got a lot of players through here. Bud plays that one again through to Jaden Smith. Who just calm as you like. Slots that one home. Goalkeeper didn't really even move there, did he? He was kind of there. He was kind of present. But he didn't really do a lot. That was some lovely build-up play, though, from our team. Jaden Smith, as I say, calm as you like. A slot in that one past the goalkeeper. And at 3-0 now on the 81st minute, you would think that is job done for today. And we can kind of sit back now and just be happy with our three points. There is a free kick here. It's a very interesting looping free kick. We have managed to deal with it. McLennan heading that one a little bit further away, but only as far as Collins, who has absolutely smashed that into the back of the net it was not a gentle goal that was an absolute smash into the back of the net look at that one i mean even when it's the opposition you've got to appreciate the absolute power on that but hopefully it's just too little too late to for this tombridge side they have been well beaten by us today i think we can take some solace in the fact that even when we are in bad form, we can still pull out performances like this one. And now they're just keeping hold of possession, although big ball forward there. Rogerson is going to very dramatically dive on that one. If he's got any sense, 
just keep hold of it. He has no sense. He's going to distribute it long to Jaden Smith, though. Jaden Smith chipping the goalkeeper. That's twice the goalkeeper has gone down and had the ball chipped over him in this match. And that is Jaden Smith's hat trick for today. We'll take that all day long. I said if Rodgerson had any sense, it turns out he has a lot more sense than I do. Just sending that one all the way over the Tom Bridge defence for Jaden Smith to latch on to the end of it. And much like Asante's goal, waits for the goalkeeper to commit himself and then very calmly chips it over the top of him into the back of the net. What a performance, lads. Thank you very much for that. That is very appreciated. It puts us into ninth place, four points outside of those playoff positions. But realistically, if we can win the next one as well, we become a lot more likely to get back into those playoff positions. So Hampton and Richmond are the team we are playing next. They are currently fourth in the National League South. After that, we have a slightly easier run of things for a little bit. So... Let's go see that match against Hampton Richmond and hopefully another three points on the board. Before we go and see that match though, a couple of things then just to show you. So if we have a look at this, the players that are guaranteed to be here next season, Ashcroft, Rogerson, Joe Budd has had a new contract, James Whiting, although he wants to leave because we haven't played him that much. I don't blame him to be honest. Zach Smith is guaranteed to be here. Jaden Smith, Asante and Taylor Crossdale, as well as Jay Falston. Everyone below that may or may not be here next season. I think, like, Lee Lucas is very, very good, but he's 30 and can be a little bit of a diva. Lloyd James, again, very good, but he is 35 now, so I think it's time for him to move on. These guys down here at the bottom are all on non-contracts as well, so... If we find better players than them, which I'm hoping we will in the summer, then they will also be moving on. The other thing that has happened is just interesting for you guys, I think, is our youth candidates preview. We can see at the moment we're expecting it to be an excellent intake. I don't know why that won't let me scroll up, so you can't necessarily see that, but it's a five-star excellent intake. Uh, a on the goalkeepers, the fullbacks, and the attacking midfielders, and the strikers after that. Not so great. If you do want to get a player named after you and get your name in the game as well, then have a look down below this video at the join button. There is details about that down there for you. But for today's match against Hampton and Richmond, then this is the lineup for Rogerson, McLennan, Kennedy, Mendes, Jones and Powell as our back four today. Ashcroft, James, Lucas and Zach Smith remain in midfield. Asante and Taylor Crossdale replacing the slightly tired Jaden Smith. He scored a hat-trick in the last match. We're sort of saying in this one, look, you did some really, really good work in that last match. Thank you very much for your contribution. We're going to let Taylor Crossdale take your place, though, because you look a little bit shattered after all of that effort you put in. And Taylor Crossdale can score some really good goals as well. Having a look here as well, we can see Hamden and Richmond aren't in bad form. But they have drawn their last three games as well. So if ever there was a time to play them, I guess today is it really. Just we'll skip forward and get straight into the match. Um, yeah, if we're going to have to play them, then realistically when they're drawing a lot is maybe the best time. Maybe we can go and grab a win off of them. I have just noticed this would give us a game in hand above some of the teams above us as well. So... Although I'm saying we are going to still be outside of the playoffs, if we've got that game in hand, we might be able to get back in there a bit sooner rather than later. Zach Smith here. Find that ball from Asante. Taylor Crossdale, who I just mentioned, can score some great goals. Just absolutely walloping that into the bottom left of there. Beautiful stuff. It's a fantastic start. It's really what you want to see when you hit record on a YouTube series is your players deciding to play like this. Zach Smith threading that one through to Taylor Crossdale, who just thumps it past the goalkeeper to put us 1-0 up in this tie early on. I don't really know why we've suddenly started playing well. Touch wood. Just going to touch the desk there. Why we suddenly started playing well, because I haven't tweaked anything. I've just kind of gone, I played around a little bit in the other matches, like I mentioned with the diamond and stuff. But this tactic and the players we're playing right now are the ones we were playing 
for the last two or three episodes where we've been doing all right and equally when we've not been doing all right just today for some reason they have woken up gone all right it's a new day it's a new episode let's put some goals in the back of the net and i am very happy about it free kick here for ham hammond and richmond hampton and richmond I've literally forgotten their name while I'm recording. Not inherently helpful. Rogerson trying to distribute that one long to Zach Smith. It is headed away, but only as far as our defender. And now all the way back to Rogerson. Distributing this one to Kennedy. Finds Taylor Crossdale long, who nods it on. But Asante is the other side of him. So nodding it on there, not all that useful. James has managed to regain possession though. Asante now trying to find some way of getting through in the box. Ashcroft heading it over, heading it over, crossing it over to Asante for him to try and head home. It is over, but look at us in this match. We are fully in control of this one. Pump the fist. We're doing very well, but let's see if we can do a little bit better in this second half, guys. We could do with another goal here at the moment. Asante apparently is looking tired. We'll give him a few more minutes on the pitch. Maybe we substitute him around the 60th minute. James playing this one short into the box to Taylor Crossdale for him to cross over to Asante, who does get his head to it. Goalkeeper was pretty much beaten there, but it's not on target, so it doesn't really matter particularly. And with 63 minutes gone, maybe we do now take Asante off. We bring Jaden Smith on. Powell is apparently injured as well. I didn't see that come up. So Powell can switch with Mendes Jones. And then we bring on Persau as a substitute there. We just tell Kennedy to ease off those tackles because we do not have any way of substituting him. Um, and I think that's all we do for the second. We can make that third and final substitution in a minute. Right, we're, we're listening to the assistant manager as well. We are going to work the ball into the box because I would like to get another goal at the moment. I would not like to see us concede one here because we have been far, far the better team. We do not deserve to be losing this match, but equally we could have done a little bit more in front of goal. Rogerson going to grab hold of that header before anyone else can get there. And I'd imagine he's just going to thump it up to Taylor Crossdale. He's going to attempt to thump it up to Taylor Cross down. Said it's Ashcroft who finds it, crosses it into the box. Jaden Smith there. Taylor Crossdale does manage to get the rebound and manages to put that in the back of the net for both ours and his second goal of the match. Beautiful stuff. It's a, once again just a massive ball forward. Ashcroft on this occasion choosing to cross rather than to dawdle on the ball. Jaden Smith drawing a save from the goalkeeper and Taylor Crossdale acting like a proper poacher there for his second goal of the game. And we probably now need to make that final substitution. There are lots of tired players. I'd suggest Lloyd James probably comes off and Joe Budd comes on. We're very keen to give Budd as much game time as possible because in my mind, he is one of the first choice 11 next season, at least as it stands. As I mentioned in the summer, with maybe a little bit of improved reputation, that was... An interesting tackle there from Whittingham. And I'd assume it's going to be a straight red and he's just thrown the ball on the floor. Did everyone see that? He had a proper hissy fit. Brilliant stuff. That should be game set and match for us now though. Ashcroft with a shot from range. It is blocked. Falls to Kennedy. Back to McLennan. We just need to keep hold of the ball and pick our, uh, pick our shots really. And not give away needless possession. Taylor Crossdale trying to get his hat trick to prove that anything Jaden Smith can do, he can do equally as well, if not better. But it doesn't manage to come off here. Purcell with a throw in, and it does mean that possession is back with the opposition. As I was mentioning, I'd assume Joe Budd is going to be one of our main players next season, but that does very much obviously depend on who we find in the summer. And I'd assume we'll be able to get a better quality of players next year than we were able to get hold of and bring in this year taylor crossdale through on goal he does get his hat trick he can do anything Jaden smith can do of an equal quality not necessarily better but of an equal quality to Jaden smith i mean we all of a sudden look a lot more just positive i guess just we look a lot more positive even though we're playing for balance balanced mentality we look more positive I will say this about the, uh, the the transfers in a minute, but every time I try to say it, we get a highlight or we score a goal. 
But either way, I'd assume we'll be able to bring in a better quality of player next season with an improved reputation and the fact that we'll be a bit more secure in this league. So a lot could happen this summer. We could still get promoted via the playoffs. If we get promoted, I think like we are going to get absolutely battered in the National League because I don't think we've got the quality of players quite there at Taunton yet to uh, survive in that league. I think we've done very well in this this league this season to survive and thrive as well. And it is a penalty. Martel Taylor Crosstell <laughs> is going to take the penalty. Can Martel Taylor Crosstell score this and prove that anything Jaden Smith can do, he can do better, not just of an equal quality? That is four goals for Taylor Crosstell in this match. Our captain has come on today and chosen violence. And you have to feel for Hampton and Richmond here because they have just come up against a Taylor Crossdale that is not in the mood. It is, I am going to score. I'm going to drag us back up the leagues by the scruff of our neck if I have to. Lucas trying to find Taylor Crossdale again. It is nodded away. Uh, but we're in the 90th minute now. At this point, this match is done. We're going to see more highlights. There's no point. Put them out in their misery. Let us get to full time, which we do with a 4-0 win on the books. Who saw that coming at the start of this episode? Because I certainly didn't. It does put us, as we can see, in 8th place on 59 points. But we do have a game in hand on Hampton and Richmond, who are we obviously just played and are just above us. So if we can win our next game or a game in hand, then we will leapfrog them back into the playoff positions, which is fantastic stuff and exactly where we want to be. We've got to go and give Taylor Crossdale a little bit of a pat on the head here. Thank you. Four goals. Four goals. That, that is a lovely way to end this episode. And if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do drop a like down below. I would love to see some of them flooding in in support of Martel Taylor Crossdale, our king of Taunton and club captain and the man that is going to take us to the promised land of the National League. Eventually, I am sure of it. Until next time, though, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.